Yo, what's up, everybody? We finally finished day three, if I remember correctly. Yes, day three of the group stages. We just finished our cast, and now we're gonna do the recap with Eterna, and as well as Leo once again, the boys who made it all the way to the very end. Now, we're gonna have to talk about this. It's a little bit of a weird angle, and there's a little bit of ASMR, but it'll be fine. You, you guys will, it, it'll be okay, right? Okay. First things first, RSG versus EVOS Legends. Now, I got Leo's opinion about RSG, but I want to know yours because it was against the home, the ho technically your version of the homeboys, right? I mean, Indonesia, how do you feel about that? Especially against RSG, SG. Wait, I gotta ask first, how uh -huh. many people watch this video? Not many. Not many? Yeah. I was gonna say that it's an expected outcome, to be <laughs> honest, for me personally, because- well, Now there's more people watching. <laughs> oh man, yes. clip this. Farm me the views. Um, I just shared it. Oh man. That's a lot of shares. All right. Honestly, yeah, because I've seen the performance of Evos. I followed them from MPL ID. I think they're strong when they're being pushed against a wall and like vying for a top one, top two. It doesn't seem like that's the situation that they need to really just pop off. So expected results, to be honest, for me. Wow, expected results. Okay, fair enough. What about you, Leo? Has has you has you been extra convinced or even more? concrete evidence why RSG is now not not even a surprise but expected to win against EVOS Legends. I don't know about expected but RSGSG, Lucian Cutie, I see you. We see you. I agree with them. RSGSG is looking amazing and I'm surprised that they took down at least an Indonesian team. That's number one. Now we move on to the second match of the day. This is Onik versus Outplayed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm personally a little disappointed. I was hoping to see a little bit more from Outplay, but what about you, Eterna? Honestly, I was expecting a two to one. Two to I, one? Yeah, at least. Mm. Honestly, I wanted to see the boys, you know, come out, you mm. know? Fair, fair. What about you, Leo? Sad boys. <laughs> <laughs> sad boys? I'm sad for outplay. I agree. I, I wish uh, I wish we could see a little bit more of them. I mean, Onik played a really good game, and we finally come to the last best of three today that we just finished casting. Occupy Thrones up against Blacklist International. What are your thoughts about that, Eterna? I need a refresh of what happened. Wait a second. Okay. Okay. You need a character. <laughs> you need a, okay. No, no, I need a refresh. Okay, so the refresh. You, you really just froze. So the refresh. I don't remember what happened. Uh, okay. Game one. Oh. Game one. Occupy Thrones were like smashing the early game. Oh. And they got away with a lot. And then Blacklist adjusted. And then they warmed up. And then Blacklist took control over the mid game. Flipped the fight. And then afterwards destroyed game number one. Towards the late stage of the game. Game number two. Really weird draft from Occupy Thrones. I would say that they were really demotivated. And. I would make the bold claim that they didn't really want to win that one, but hey, Blacklist played a standard and strong game. Can I say ballsy? Ballsy? Mm -hmm. in, in what sense? You just did. Well, yeah, I just said it. In what sense? And towards I who? Think, I think Occupy's draft was ballsy. I liked oh. the idea that they had, but I honestly got to say, execution, man. Like, if you have synergy issues, you can't think to beat Ube. It's, it's tough. I despise you. What? Esmeralda, come on, come on. Esmeralda, bro. Uh, this is this is this is character bias at this point. What about you, Leo? I don't like it. Which part about? Game two draft was just. I don't like it. What about game one? That was okay. They made it work, but <laughs> game two draft, I don't like it. <sighs> I mean, it was pretty disappointing. I'm not going to lie. I, I, Occupy Thrones put a good fight against Todak, but they didn't put a good fight against Blacklist in game number two. <laughs> That's just the, my hot take. I final. Like you don't. I still like the draft game two. Agreed. Agreed. I can agree with this man. Now, finally, the question everybody has all been very interested for. And this time, Leo, this time, Leo, you, I, I remember in the last video when I asked you this question, it was based on the people that you saw. And I know it's going to change. You know what the question is, but it turned out. This one's gonna be a fun one. I wanted to get you on yesterday, this but you went home. Nice, what? What? Thanks. Yeah. Um, top two cutest boys. <laughs> Would you like me to make that top three just for you? <laughs> Would you like me to answer it for you? <laughs> Leo, we gotta, we gotta grow down here. She needs to recuperate herself. Do you want to change your answer for yesterday? What but, was, wait, wait, what was his answer? Uh, watch the video and find out. <laughs> 
I'll farm your views, girl. <laughs> you guys, tell me. I'd like to add. I don't want to replace. I want to add. You want to add? I want to add Lucian, the cute one, cutie. Wait, you have to tell me so now I know, and then I can talk. I can agree or disagree. So one of them is Lucian, cutie. Do you disagree? Do you disagree with Lucian, cutie? After today? Disagree. Why? Yeah, so. I said it. One or two. I said top two. Would you like me to make? Would you like me to make it a top three so you can add in another cute boy in that one? Yeah. All right. Top three then. Um. Sorry. Yaoi oh. Diablo Keyboy third. Keyboy third? Yes. Keyboy. I thought you were gonna go with Bray. I'm not gonna lie. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She is not enlightened yet. Fair enough. With that being said, that recaps the entirety of day number three here at the group stage of MSC. See you tomorrow.